Long rifle, 117, solid copy, tango, sir. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay. I'm good then, huh? Yes. You're the OIC. It's Saturday, August 6th. I'm at Naval Special Warfare Range 116 at Camp Pendleton. We're actually shooting a match at Range 117, which is next door, but there's no parking lot there, so we have to park at 116. We're throwing our gear on this truck that you see behind me, or this uh, this trailer, and we're gonna get towed to 117. But essentially today is a three by 1,000 match, so that's uh, three, three strings of 20 rounds shot at 1,000 yards. Um, Today's weather is, is overcast right now. It's supposed to top out around 78, 79 degrees. Humidity is at 50% roughly, I think. And we'll see how that factors in today. But I'm not, I, this is the first time I've been to 117 in about four years. I don't really shoot 1,000 yards at all, but I wanted to get some information or some data with the uh, my 308 that I just built. Any questions? Good to go, Mike. All yours. Okay, so squatting. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dylan and Raddy stayed there, did they not? Yes. Okay. So uh, target zero. And I'm sorry because we had a bunch of guys not show up today, so my uh, free squatting is all messed <laughs> up. But target zero, McDonough and Mitri. Uh, target one. OCAB, Tardiff and Fitzgerald. Target two, Davis, Tush, and Atkinson. So we'll be connected first stage of your three by 1,000. 
first stage of fire will be unlimited ciders and 20 rounds for record in a time of 30 minutes. Is the line ready? I'm ready. So Jerry, the just line give me is heads ready. Up, okay? Ready on the left. Ready on the right. All ready. You may commence fire. Oh man. Ready? Gotcha. It's just after 0930 and we're in the middle of string one, relay one. We just kind of started simply because there's still the setup time. We had to go haul our gear from 116 over to 117. Then we had to go back to 116 to pick up the targetry and go to the pits and set everything up, come back to the line at 117 and do the safety brief and then squatting. I finally finished my first string of fire. Pretty much it took, uh, it took a while to shoot uh, relay three because of the way we're doing the relays and pit changes. Uh, in order to do only two, pin two pit changes with the three relay system, we're gonna do a uh, one, two, one pit change, three, two pit change, three, one, three, and that should finish up the day. Um, it took a while to shoot since we started. We started a live fire around 0900 and then pretty much took uh, three hours for me to get on the line. But, uh, I shot my first string of fire with the Berger 175 OTM Tacticals and 44 grains of Vargate. I was having some elevation issues. The wind was easy, but for some reason I was up and down the whole time. So I'm not sure if just my position is bad or what, but no matter what I, could, what I was doing, I was constantly hitting high or low if I tried to adjust for it on the scope.
the wind's picking up, but uh, we're waiting for relay one to finish the last string, and I'm going to shoot my final string after that. We're done for today. But if you can see behind me, my rifle is covered by my Everly stock ring cover. That's to keep the sun off the barrel. It keeps the barrel cool between relays or between strings, so I don't have to worry about the barrel heating up and uh, affecting my accuracy as I when I actually do live fire. Mark one. It's almost 1600 hours. We finally finished the match. Uh, got back from range 117 to 116 with all our gear. We're packing up and getting out of here. As far as my match today, I didn't shoot all too great, but I was only here to test uh, different ammo at the 1000 yard line. So I shot my hand loads for the first two strings and I shot IMI Razor Core 175 match on this third string and those shot pretty bad. Um, it was all over the place. It wasn't holding groups in center. So I can't recommend the IMI 175 match they're Sierra Match Kings, and they're supposed to be equivalent to M118LR, but they're not all that great. My handloads did okay. Um, I got some dope for the Burger 175 Tactical OTMs with uh, Varget 44 grains and with AR Comp 41 grains. And so I feel comfortable with what I can do as far as elevation hold at 1000. I'm just having up and down issues in my position, so I think I can, if I can figure out how to shoot off a of bipod prone better, I should be able to get my elevation uh, you know, fixed as far as my groups are concerned. Um, that's pretty much it for my match. Uh, I'm pretty hungry. It's We've been on the range all day, so I'm gonna hit up Wendy's on the way out of the base and then make the drive home. Uh, as far as other gear, if you notice, like during this vlog footage, I, I'm wearing this Everly stock Gunslinger 2, which I mentioned in my previous vlog. I actually used this to carry on my gear. I didn't bring my range cart. I actually brought my range cart, but I left it in the truck. So. This holds my rifle and all my other gear as far as my ammo, my spotting scope's actually back here, and then um, uh, other stuff like uh, rear bags, uh, various items like water, uh, food, um, my data cards, and some first aid stuff. So I'm going to do a review on this as after I get a little bit more use out of it, and I'm still trying to tweak it and add more gear to it as far as like organizers, a med kit, a blowout bag, and whatnot. But as far as this is concerned, it's working pretty nicely. It's just that um, the the weight is pretty heavy, and I'm I don't know if this can handle this much weight that I'm packing on my back. I, I'm surprised like this I, if the stitching will hold on the handles, but we'll see. Um, but again, this is something I'll hold off for my actual my actual article that I'm gonna write for my blog um, once I get um, enough data, footage, and media photos and whatnot, and actually write up the article, and I'll post that online. Anyway, that's it for this range vlog. This is Camp Pendleton. We were at range 117A, the sniper range. Now we're at uh, range 116, Camp Pendleton. The, today is Saturday, August 6th. That's it for the vlog. This is a little PS for the vlog. I wanted to give um, mention to the Santa Margarita Gun Club matches. We would like to see more participants attend our matches. While we do get a good number of shooters for our, our prone matches, we would like to continue that invitation for more participants and we would like you know like to see a lot more people take advantage of the venue that we have access to at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton um, even though it's a military base civilians are welcome to these matches obviously you need to pre-register for the match in advance and then that gets you on that approved list that we submit to the base so that you can get access to the base if you don't have a DOD or a military ID card to participate in these events 
Um, I know it might seem daunting for most to shoot in a match, but these matches aren't that like high speed. It's very simple to shoot a prone match. So if you look at a mid-range match, a 3x600 or a long-range 3x1000, it's fairly simple. It's a static, uh, static firing point. You just sit on the firing line and you shoot in front of the prone position off a of rest. And it's very, very um, as simple as it can be as far as shooting prone can be con- as concerned. So definitely consider that if you're, uh, if you have a rifle and you like to see if you can shoot 600 or 1,000 yards, come out and shoot in the match. Um, even if you're not trying to compete, you're trying to learn marksmanship or advance your marksmanship skills, and that's what these events are for. It's not just to see who's the best. Um, a lot of guys, you know, they, they have that competitive mindset and they want to be at the top all the time. But most, you know, if you're a true shooter, you're here just to improve your own skills. Uh, you're, regardless of everyone else who performs alongside you, you're here to perform against your own self and to further your skills and shoot better than you have previously. And that's what matches are supposed to be about, and that's what competitive shooting is about. Not competing against others, but competing against yourself. Anyway, I just wanted to give mention to the club, especially, um, definitely want to mention the military personnel. If you're military, you get reduced rates. If I'm, if I'm not, uh, if I'm correct, you shoot at least a, a very reduced rate for match fees, if not for free. And if you're military and you inform the club in advance, we will try to make, or you know, a club member will have a, a rifle and ammo available to you to use if you don't have your own gun. So definitely military personnel, we encourage them to come out to shoot with us yeah, and you can help, you know, help the club as far as participation and we can help you as far as advancing your uh, rifle skills or your pistol skills when we do our pistol matches. So definitely come out, military personnel, uh, Marine Corps, Navy, Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, doesn't matter, all military definitely um, should help, you know, should participate. And uh Get some, uh, you know, reap some benefits as far as the the discounts we'll give you and as far as the support we can give you for being uh, military. Anyway, that's it for this little PS. I need to get out of the uh, get out of the base and get home because I need to take a shower. Uh, it's been dusty, windy, sweaty, a little hot and humid. But anyway, that's it. Uh, until then, uh, see you in the next vlog.